Today, I will be talking about the reasons why you should be playing Wuthering Waves when it releases in May 22nd. But first, I will ask you to subscribe if you are into this type of content because I will be posting some more videos like this. Gotcha system. And like other games, Wuthering Wave is gonna be really generous with the player base, offering over 240 pulls and with all the in-game event rewards and quests going on you will be able to receive a massive quantity of weapons and characters to take on anything that the game has to offer in the beginning now girl games hasn't confirmed the five star selector at 80 pulls but i do think we will receive this at launch the only thing that is a hundred percent confirmed is the beginner's cabin banner will give you a random 5 star after 50 pulls. If we don't get the 5 star selector, we will have to reroll accounts until we get the 5 star characters that we really want. Also, another thing is when pulling on the weapon banner, you will be guaranteed the weapon once you hit pity. So, no more 50-50s, 75-25, painful experience. Right guys, I hope that other companies start doing the same on their games in the future, like Zenless on Zero, but I doubt it. Second, Echoes or Pokemon? For those who don't know, Echoes in these games are just like Pokemons. You get out to the world, beat up some monsters and bosses, and then you have the chance to capture this encourage you to fill your Pokedex also called in this game as data bank. These echoes are equipped just like artifacts or relics, if you know the terminology from other games like Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Rail. They also have set bonus, stats, substats, and will be randomly rolled whenever you obtain them. Alright, for those who love shiny hunting in Pokemon, this game has shiny echoes that you can hunt in the world, and when you kill these shinies in co-op, everyone gets it this means what can happen is your friend can find a shine in their world invites you to their game and you will both get it this adds a very fun element into the game that i will personally love it and i think you will too although shinies don't offer additional bonuses i think crew games will reevaluate this and offer some incentives so we can go shiny hunting co-op or multiplayer if you kill a monster in your world it will reset in the next day but you can also join your friend's world and farm them together and you will also receive the rewards this gives you the opportunity to farm infinitely you can explore the world with two other players this means three in total although we still don't know if we will be able to do end game challenge just like the tower of adversity or the holograms together but this will make the co-op experience really fun and enjoyable and i hope your games invest more in this part of the game if you don't have anyone to play with i'm here for you guys you can comment down below your username or code so we can play together or you can also make friends within this community and game unlike most gacha games which have a very boring and limited end game activity or system wuthering waves has this hologram boss system which lets you face off an extremely difficult version of the bosses on beta the difficulties went all the way up to six with each floor being harder than the other this means you will have to perfect your crafts, skills, echoes, and team comps so you can deal more damage and meet the timers on the bosses. You will also have to take advantage of dodges and perfect parries to reduce the time you spend taking hits and the boss's stagger meter, which once that bar is reduced, they go into a stunned state where they take more damage. The fifth one is gonna be more like an opinion. Overall, I think this game will be fantastic, the combat will feel amazing, and will set a higher bar for other gacha games. If you played other games just like Genshin or Honkai Star Rail or other gacha games, I think you will love to try this one. Also, have you seen the 5-star characters for this game, guys? Yen Ling looks amazing and I do think I'm saving for my dummy mommy. Let me know which one are you saving for. Those were the reasons why you have to play this game. Like, comment and subscribe and mostly let me know your opinion in the comments. Thank you, bye bye.